is going on, gang? What is going on, guys? This is Tay, and you're watching Tay's Two Cents. Cha-ching, baby. Let's get it. Let's go, man. I just I just heard some terrible, terrible news that announced at the top of this uh, afternoon, right before the NFL games came on. And it was that Kendrick Lamar got the Super Bowl performance when the Super Bowl happens in February of 2025. And it's not that Kendrick Lamar is getting it is terrible news. It's that Lil Wayne did not get it. While the Super Bowl is in New Orleans, coming from one of the most influ influential rappers of the last like 30 years, 20 years, everybody like has a, a piece of his game, a piece of his image, a piece of his, you know what I'm saying, artistry, and is right in his hometown. He's a living, walking Hall of Famer. I know rap doesn't really have a Hall of Fame. I guess like the uh, they got like the the stars and the seamen in Hollywood, but a living rapping Hall of Famer may not make may, may not have made the best financial uh decisions but as far as the art as far as performing as far as like music wise oh my goodness man how did we not get this to little wayne how how did little wayne not get this i mean he's even involved in sports that makes it even crazy he was with espn the most he's ever been in the last few years he's heavily activated in his he's heavily uh instituted into the sports broadcasting you see him a lot. The the the, the, uh, the broadcasters know him. They they know him. They 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 reach out to him when he's chilling. And the thing is, it's crazy because you you hear all this and you know that uh, I think we know that Rock Nation controls like who gets the who gets the performance. And you know that Jay Z you know has something to do with this. And and people are speculating that Jay Z you know was hating on Wayne. I feel like their relationship has gotten better over the years. Um, maybe they had a discussion and Wayne decided, I mean, Jay-Z decided that Wayne wouldn't be the best performance. Maybe the songs that we know Wayne for ain't, you know, good songs to be performing in front of millions on a Super Bowl televised broadcast. I don't, I don't know. I don't know. I, I just, it just doesn't feel right. You know, I'm not from New Orleans, <laughs> not, not by any means, but for it to be there and, and for it to be him, it's like if, if the Super Bowl was in New York, I don't know if it's ever been in New York, don't get me wrong. And then given today, Jay-Z didn't get this opportunity in front of him. It's just crazy to me. I, I know that when we speculated at the end of the last Super Bowl that it was going to be in New Orleans and we kind of thought like Lil Wayne would be the guy. And it was, it didn't seem like a long shot. It did not seem like a long shot whatsoever. But he didn't get it. He didn't get the job. And I know things change, but I don't think it's ever going to change from Kendrick Lamar. I mean, that's a, you know, right now, but between him, uh, you know, jumping on this and Drake and, and them going back and forth over the summer. He's at, at like the peak of his career. I don't know if that's even going to matter in, you know, five months. I don't think he's about to go to care about that. They're going to remember it in a point in history. I'm not going to lie about that. But, I mean, the buzz from all that dissing is going to be done with. Like, it's pretty much, like, for the most part, dwindling away at the current day right now. But here we are in New Orleans with a West Coast rapper. Hmm. I hear he signed Interscope. I, I think he signed Interscope. And then I know Dre and them, Eminem, and Big, and, uh, and uh, 50 and them, they was up there. So maybe this is more about that. <sighs> man, I just cannot believe Wayne didn't get it, man. Let me know your thoughts and comments in the comment section down below. Hmm, back to watching NFL. I'm gone.